Well, everyone, it's I'm sad to say this is the last episode of the podcast. What a great way to, like, make people stay tuned in. Like, his version of clickbait is terrible. Sophia, it's April Fool's. Oh. Bienvenidos a la Raketo to Iniwero. I'm Corban. And I'm Sofa. Oh, I should have said Carbon, you know. Yeah, you're Carbon Dioxide, and I'm Sofa, or Sofig, or Sofua, or, uh, let's see, Jofia, or, um, what was the other one? I don't know. I don't know, I have so many nicknames. Don't remind me of comfy things, because it's late at night. We're recording, and I'm I tired. want to go to sleep. Mm-hmm. We're recording a little late because Fia has a lot of birthday parties to attend to. I have a birthday party, and I came from a birthday party, and I'm going... Too many people were born this week. That's the problem. Yeah. Anyway. And I'm the youngest. <laughs> it's it's a gift. It's Out of a, all my it's, friends. It's a privilege. I want to say a big thank you to two... One organization, two people. Thank you to Matthew and Ryan for mentioning us again. I on was the show. right. And um, yes, we don't even donate to your Patreon, and you keep mentioning us. Thank you. Yes, thank you. A slight promotion popping in there. Uh, Can you at least say the show? No, name? the ox, the ox cable available at oxcableshow.com. Link in the show notes at rta dot space slash twenty six. I am the show notes master. Mm-hmm. Also, I was wearing a Blimey Cow t-shirt today, and a lot of people came up to me and said, Hey, you're that Corbon. I didn't know you were that Corbon. And I was like, yes. Yep, I'm, I'm this Corbon. That <laughs> Corbon. Also, thank you to Hover for featuring us as one of their great domains. And uh, you actually took the time to listen to our show, because I noticed in your hashtags you put hashtag creative kids. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm creative, apparently. Very creative. Mm-hmm. Thank you. So we're going to, before we continue today, I'm just going to let everyone know, uh, I did not script this show as we're recording uh, unexpectedly. Guess what I did? She prepared. Because I wasn't here last week, so it was actually for last week, so. Yeah, last week we did that. I did that. Uh, Outtakes episode. So, um, yeah. So everything is just going to be stuff we've collected, stuff that never actually made it. So I guess it's another episode of these never made it, except with both of us. So, Mm -hmm. um. Last week it was both of us. It was mainly me because I was the main lead thing that. Yeah, yeah the one who <laughs> causes lead. all the outtakes. Yeah, I'm the one who causes all the outtakes. Okay, Sophia, get started with your thought of the week, or shower thought. Uh, it's a chocolate is a flavor of milk, and milk is a flavor of chocolate. Oh, I get it. Milk chocolate, dark chocolate. Yeah, I get it. No. Yeah, yeah. Chocolate is a flavor. Of milk. Yeah. Like you can get strawberry milk, chocolate milk, vanilla yeah. milk. Mm-hmm. Then milk is a flavor of chocolate. Dark chocolate, mint chocolate. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, and then this is the one. Oh, don't worry. I heard this economic show. They said if you explain jokes, they're not that funny. So maybe we shouldn't explain our jokes. My thought of the week is, uh, I mean, because this is stuff from leftovers, so this is supposed to go on Christmas, but... It's leftover week! <laughs> <laughs> it's leftover week, yep. Uh, if Santa knows if you've been naughty or nice, why doesn't he know all of his reindeer bully Rudolph? Okay, that's really, really leftover. Yeah. It didn't make it. I don't even care if he's getting bullied, because it's not real. No, but, like, that's really leftover. Yeah, but the people in the comments were like, well, if you look at the original story, Santa was mean to to Rudolph, too. So, <laughs> yeah, Santa's not always nice. Who said he was nice? Who said he was real? Okay. <laughs> Public service announcement. If you ever end up in a time machine or something and go back in time, um, and you have to do a duel in an Old West or something, do it at high noon. Just like all the movies say. 
Why, you might ask? Because the sun is at the top, and it will get in both of your eyes. As long as the, um, you don't, uh, your duel doesn't last too long. I don't get it. We will not explain it because it's not... We won't explain it. Okay, learn a word. I think it's pronounced conveillance or conveilsy or convalescence. Spell that out. C-O-N-V-A-L-E-S-C-E. It's a verb and it says... Recover one's health and strength over a period of time after an illness or medical treatment. Example um, sentence is, he spent eight months con- something after the stroke. My uh, word, uh, learn a word, I'm still calling it the old thing, is called pluvial or pluvial. It's a rainy amount of time. For example, in Texas, summers most of the time. Amazingly, people hear about Texas as the heat. Most of the time in summers, we have a lot of rain. So, summer in Texas is pluvial, or pluvial. You're not teaching a class. You don't have to put the little ringtone on there. It's a noun. It comes from German origin. <laughs> no, I don't even know. Anyway. Next up, we have jokes. These are going to be um, very few of them, as we didn't have time to prepare and wait, I wait, lost my wait. paper of jokes. Jokesforus.com. Your one-stop shop for jokes. As Sophia is searching for hers, I'll get started. What word in the dictionary is always spelled incorrectly? Incorrectly. Correct. Uh, yeah, I didn't think about it. I believe that if life gives you lemons, you should make lemonade and try to find somebody whose life has given them pizza and have a party. My next joke is an original joke from yours truly, uh, who who stole it from someone else, but put it on Reddit, and it made the front page of Reddit jokes. And that is, whoever stole my copy of Microsoft Office, I will find you. You have my word. And these are the comments on my post. So, this guy really excels at making jokes and say, oh, and you have my access, or this is a front page joke, or you excel at humor. Why do they call it rush hour if nothing moves? I don't know. That's real tongue twister. Tongue twister? <laughs> I don't it's know. It's mind, 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 uh, mind bender. Twisting. <laughs> what is the loudest kind of pet? A trumpet. Oh. America is a land of opportunity. Everybody can become a taxpayer. Especially since this is coming out around tax time. Oh, yeah. Where does a dog go when it loses its tail? Wait, retail store. Yes, but someone in the comments said, The lost and pound. Now, before we continue with the rest of the show, I just want to remind everyone to rate and review us on iTunes and share the show with your friends, your enemies, uh, people you've never met before. Just like we went to Costco and we wrote RT dot space and condensation on the freezer doors, uh, but we I wrote it on almost like everybody's car that I passed in dust. In the yeah, write lot. it in dust. You could, um, I don't know. Find find creative. Uh, Put it in the in the in the dirt. Like if you go to a park. I wrote. Okay, so mine today I learned for today is interesting. Hold on, if it's today I learned, it's from today. But yeah, I literally learned it today before recording the show. But I'm not sure how credible it is. I didn't have time to fact check this. But Reddit says it's authentic. So here we go. Today I learned tarantulas own pets. They take frogs, bring them back to their holes or lairs and stuff, and keep them as pets. They take their legs and gently stroke them on their back and pat the frogs on their head, scratch behind them on their ears and stuff. Basically, frogs have ears. Yeah. Okay. I hope so. We should follow up that. It says um, the reason why they keep frogs as pets is because frogs eat harmful insects that could kill tarantulas. 
Okay. It's like, it's like that episode of the Magic School Bus where, like, the fish have to work together, you know? It's like to, a human saying, to stay alive. I'm going to keep a, a cat so that it eats my mice. Yeah, people do that. We're skipping YYOY this week because we can't think of anything. So, on to topics. The day this is coming out is April Fool's Day. Every year, we and everyone in our family consistently fails to deliver a good news okay, prank. Okay, I actually succeeded last year. What did you do? I don't remember. I, <laughs> you know the, the faucet thing that turns every which way? That was my idea, Sophia. Yes, it was your idea, but you didn't want to do it because you didn't want to get in trouble. Yeah. Uh-huh. I've been plotting to do that since 2012, and I still never. I did it, it. and um. Okay, well, well let I didn't me get explain that it. much trouble because I had the excuse of um. April Fools. Yeah, and also I I set the faucet at three in the morning, and uh. Hold then, on, we need to explain what this is. So our ha- our faucet has a swivel head, our kitchen faucet, and you can point it directly at you. So when you turn the water on, it squirts straight at you. Yeah. And we, in our family, we have a tendency to just, like, full throttle the water when we turn it <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, no matter, like, how like, little... You we're know. not living in California here. Yeah. It's so like, we just full don't throttle, throttle the water. Cold. Yeah, and it, it just scored. I think it was our mom that hit. Yeah, yeah, it was our, it was our mom that... That, um, got that I, I got, yeah. Um, no, and so we, like, memorized everything at our house, and it's been the same way for so many years, that, like, you just know where yeah, the you know where faucet thing is so you just walk around the corner and you go wash your hands and so i did it at three in the morning and then like five minutes later she came out of the restroom and so she did it and i was waiting in the corner and she did it and then she screamed and then i turned on the light and i said april fools and then uh oh. she, she started yelling and i was like yeah i'm tired and i just walked to my room and i, I got out of trouble you know what you know what i just thought of something okay so I remembered I actually have had a successful April Fool's. I we used to have a um a like a stuffed rat that looked like a rat. Oh yeah, no, we used to do that all the time. Yeah, it was a puppet. We did it didn't even matter what day it was. We would just always do it. We put this rat on, like and <laughs> I then I remember that. And then when someone from our when someone from our family went to the bathroom, we stick the rat in in the hallway outside the bathroom. Uh-huh. And then we like dimly lit it with a little bit of light on it, so it looked like the rat. And we tie a string to its tail, so we could l- make it look like it's moving. Yeah. And then <laughs> whoever would come out of the bathroom would just, cause like the light difference, their eyes adjusting. Yeah. We would totally trick them all the time. There was a rat running across the store, and they would scream. Uh, every single time, never failed with our mom. Yeah, it never failed. Yeah, that's like literally the only time we've been successful because our entire family is, is terrible at this. Like, our aunt every year. Same thing. <laughs> yeah. She calls and says that her sister, our other aunt, fell down, uh, <laughs> fell down, <laughs> tripped on the stairs at her school that she teaches at. And yeah. every year, she, but the she, problem is she doesn't teach on the second floor. She teaches on the first floor, right next to the door. Yeah, it's like she like. There's no way she could trip and fall down the stairs. Yeah. And everyone's just like, oh, she fell down the stairs. She fell down the stairs. I mean, we're just like, sitting there like, wow. You're like again. <laughs> Uh, yep, yeah, let's just go visit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just we'll just go say hi. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> Sophia oh, has some then, things yeah. for you. And then wait, no. And then our uh, our uncle, I was about to say our brother. <laughs> our uncle, um, he always calls and he says that he's stuck on the road. Out but, of gas. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> well, which sometimes is true. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's true. Um, but no. Remember that one one April Fool's that he called? And he said that he was stuck on the road and that uh, he'd run out of gas and he had a uh, blown out tire and nobody believed him and he was stuck oh, on yeah. the road for he four a- hours. Yeah, he actually did. Because nobody believed him. Yeah, he was like sending pictures like, no, you're just getting out of Google. No, he's like, no, I'm serious. I'm actually stuck on the side of the tollway. <laughs> yeah, and nobody believed him. So he was out there for like four hours. It's the story of the boy who cried wolf. Yeah. Okay, so Sophia he didn't has die. some. He didn't die. Yeah, he didn't die. He's still alive. So Sophia has some suggestions for you on but what he doesn't have the same car. <laughs> Yeah, he he doesn't have that old thing anymore. Yeah. So Sophia has some suggestions for you, like I said, on what you can do as um uh, new uh, on New Year's Eve pranks, <laughs> on April Fool's pranks. If you didn't get any ideas from what we've said already, well, actually, I don't think anybody's faucet can do that anymore. Yeah, because you know the new ones, like they can move every which way, but like they retract, you know. Mhm. Oh, talking about rats, I just thought of it. I said yep. retract, not rat. I <laughs> know, but it reminded me again. Oh. Uh, when we did that stuff rat thing, but we actually have a guinea pig now. Oh. We could... Wait, 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 wait. 
Yeah, well, we'll we'll do it in the morning or something. Okay, we just, we just stick him out in the hallway and like stick a carrot yeah, in front of him Yeah, but you know, he's just a little bit too bland that yeah, somebody yeah. might just step on him. Yeah, he doesn't move. He is, attracts no attention. Just sit there. Like I took him out of his cage the other day, and I set him down on the floor, and I went to go make breakfast, and then I forgot about him. I did my homeschool work, and then I came back like later like four hours later for lunch and i saw him he's in the same position knocked out of sleep on the floor <laughs> he does not move he will not move yeah you can't even tempt him to food he'll just stretch out his body and get it okay so yeah what are your suggestions okay so um i'm just gonna run through them real quick uh so you can uh borrow someone's cell phone and change the language to a foreign language like setting. Oh, you could do text replacement. So every time they say something, they can. It'll be like um. You could make it change it so that it's like uh, uh. Every time they say sorry, it like replaces the text with not sorry. Yeah, or you can also see this happened to me already. He changed all my contact things, and so he switched everybody's name. And so when I went to go text you, uh, it said uh, it said. What did he say? It, I don't know. He put something. And I was like, it was like, what? And so I was going through it, and everything was messed up, and I had to go change it back. I was so confused. Anyway, you change, you just change the name to somebody else. Like, you just switch all the contacts. Yeah. But you just switch the name. That's it. Oh, uh, yeah. So, like, you think you're texting me, but you're texting someone else. Yeah. But you also have to change the picture, or you just get rid uh, of the picture. That's a long, tedious task. Well, not really. You know what? I just thought of something. Uh, I will make a video on my technology channel about things to do uh, on April Fool's Day with technology to trick your friends. I will do it. Okay. That's coming out. Okay, come on. I'm supposed to get Link this in the show fast. notes. Add food coloring to somebody's milk so that, like, like open a thing and add food coloring to it so it looks, like, spoiled or something. I don't know. Oh, you could talk about that. You could check out that Evan Hansen or whatever it is guy that does those prank videos Sophia's always watching. Oh, yeah. Um, 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 what's his name? Well, the... Waving through a window? (laughs) No, the, um, his YouTube channel is Evan Era TV. Yeah, I'll I'll put it in the show notes if you want to find it. But his name is Evan Rosenman or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, he does prank and tricks and stuff that you can trick your yeah, friends with. Yeah, they're really with. cool. I'm um, sure he'll do an April Fool's special or something. Yeah. Uh, or you can just find one from last year. Anyway. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> switch around random keys on the keyboard. On, on a real keyboard, not electronic, you know. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So you move around, and so they like know what they're typing in, and it's like all gibberish. Anyway. Um, switch the push and pull signs on a set of doors. <laughs> Oh, I that. mean, I already get confused even when it says pull and I push. <laughs> yeah, they got to put diagrams. <laughs> yeah, it's like put arrows or something. 3D yeah. arrows. Anyway, yeah. Um. Or like they got to make a universal. So the green means push, red means pull. Like something like that. So people know what it means. Um. So replace like an Oreo thing, like cream filling with toothpaste. And offer it to somebody. Okay, no, that's just poisonous. No, it's not. Yes, you can't have a lot of toothpaste because it has that fluoride stuff. Well, no, do it with mini Oreos then. Even the smallest amount of digestive... Cordbine, I have swallowed so much toothpaste in my life. And look at you with laugh ammonia. <laughs> okay. All right, so never mind. <laughs> okay, so only do this if you're, like, homeschooled or something. Don't do this to the actual person who goes to public school. Um, So, like... Just set a bunch of alarms on their phone, but, like, not, like, one right after the other, but, like, one every, like, maybe two hours or something. Yeah. Because usually people just snooze it or they, like, turn it off. Yeah. Or they swipe. You can, they don't even, they don't even, like, actually go to the thing and, like, Even turn if off the phone's you. locked, you can access the, um... Yeah. The control center. All right. Um, so then... That's on iPhones, though. So, put a please use other door sign on the entrance of a building that only has one huh. entrance. But I was traveling because we're on decided to stay here and clean. Um, yeah. Uh, me and our aunt, the aunt who always calls and says that our other aunt fell on the stairs. <laughs> that aunt. Yeah. 
uh, when we were traveling, we made a stop at the like gas station store thingy. Rest stop. And yes, and um, so you know how there's always like that gas station one, and then like sometimes there's like that taco place next to it. Mm-hmm. That, okay. That taco place. <laughs> yes. Someone needs okay. to start a restaurant just called that taco. Place. Okay, so we walk out, and there's a sign, and there's a one entrance door, and it looks like the the thing is tinted, and so we walk by, and <laughs> and our aunt, she's just like pulling on the door and pushing on the door trying to get in and then it says and then i look in through the window and there's nothing there <laughs> it's it's like this chinese restaurant near our house they have six doors that do not open or close no wait and so there's nothing in there and so then we go around and we're like <laughs> we come back to the van and and then we say uh that there's no talk place it's just a sign and there's nothing in there and then and then our other aunt the one who <laughs> The one who always gets blamed for falling, yeah. <laughs> um, no, <laughs> she says, the taco place is inside the gas station stop, not outside. <laughs> you, you just, you won't get it. Anyway, so. Okay, we're falling asleep and telling stories that have no humor, <laughs> and we're just laughing at nothing. <laughs> okay, so thank you for listening. This is your first time here, especially all of you who joined us from Hover. This is actually what a normal episode sounds like. Normally, it's both of us here talk about random things here and there. Uh, if you enjoyed, find the best way to subscribe on um, rta.space slash listen. Or if you're already on our website, just uh, move your mouse up to the top cursor to the side of the screen. And there's a button there that says subscribe. It'll give you links to iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, wherever you want to listen to. We're still waiting on our podcast host to put us on, on Spotify. So I don't know when that's coming. Uh, if you enjoyed the show, please review us on iTunes. If you have any suggestions for us, comments, feedback, concerns that we're doing something wrong and that we need a fire person on set or something, you can... Fire a person? <laughs> fire a person. Yeah, that invisible friend over there, you're fired. Our invisible producer. Uh, <laughs> rock to anywhere show at gmail.com or RTA show on Twitter. Uh, let's see, what else is there? Uh, our show notes for this week's episode are available at rta.space slash 26 if you want to link to that prank guy or if you want to link to my video on uh, April Fool's jokes you can play with technology you can check those out over at rta.space slash 26 those are all the announcements for today as always you can follow me on Twitter uh, or Instagram or anywhere on the internet except for Pinterest you can follow me at Corbron Garcia and Sophia at extra underscore Sophia on Instagram or at Sophia the Dog Lover or at Bailey and Orshi. And then on Twitter, it's at extra Sophia with no underscore. Yeah, cause someone else took extra Sophia and they're like some dance studio. Owns mm-hmm. it. You know, I've never even looked at it. I should probably take a time to look at that and see what it is. You should like have to provide your birth certificate so that yeah. that's your name and you have to get yes. your name as your username. If everyone provided their birth certificate and got their name, it would be so much easier. Like Vsauce did a vi- video about when we're going to run out of usernames and he says like it's very soon we can run out of usernames. Except that like People make usernames where it's like one underscore two underscore three, you know. Yeah, because like we run out. Like, if you look back at the founders of Twitter, their usernames are like at Jack, at Bob. Yeah. It's like first names. If that but, guy, I mean, if you had to show your birth certificate, we wouldn't have usernames. <laughs> we just hit one hour of recording. So if you look at your phone right now, you're like twenty minutes. What was he talking about? Okay, mm-hmm, that's all the time I took thinking of stuff. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for listening. I put a thought into this, so do something. And we're going back to our roots. So this rocket has a landed. I did. I'm about to have a laughing fit.